What's up, guys? It's Andy with Sublu Productions. Here with Taylor Holly. How's it going, everybody? Glad to be back. We're excited to bring you the second annual Joe Wheeler Fall Shootout in Florence, Alabama, hosted by the Shoals Frisbee Club. Taylor, tell us a little about the tournament and these players. Sure. Uh, just glad to be up there. You got Tim Page out here on this lead card. Uh, player from Huntsville. Aaron Bernard, usually a Masters player. Playing up here with these open guys, also from Huntsville. Devin Hall, uh, big arm, fast player out of Hamilton, Alabama. And Jared Neal making his second solo productions video, also from Huntsville. Right on. Takes us to hole one, starts this thing off. Par of three, 257 feet. Simple little straightforward shot. Most players are going to throw a small little turnover putter maybe. Uh, there's a couple other options though. Ben going to lead us off. My guess is that turnover putter, and that's what it looks like. Good call, Andy. Yep, turnover putter shot. Going to leave it just right of the basket. I'm sure he's thrown that line many times before. Going to leave him about 15 feet out. Great shot. Uh, Aaron going to look to follow suit here. Also going to throw a turnover. Looks like it's going to carry a little right. Oof. Catch a late tree, maybe? Yeah, catch a late tree. Kick really hard left. Uh, going to leave him maybe just outside the circle. So, Devin going to take a interesting thumber line here. You're not going to see a whole lot of players play that all day, but look to work out well for him right there. I'm mm-hmm. uh, going to leave him just past the basket. Anyone that knows Devin knows that's a comfort shot for him. Sure, absolutely. And then Jerry going to follow suit with the putter, wrap the card up there. Uh, also going to throw that turnover and going to finish right just like Ben did. Going to have similar looks. So here we got Aaron just outside the circle. A little jump putt. Uh, Smash. Money. Mm. Buckets. Very, Very nice, nice, Aaron. Great start. Jinx. Poke. Throw me a coat. Anyway, here's Darren, uh, Devin. Devin going to get going. Nice putt. Very nice putt right off the center. <clears throat> a little look over at the camera. Good start for those two guys. For sure. Starting birdie birdie. Jerry going to look to follow suit here. Leaving himself about a 15, 20 footer. And... Dead center putt as well. It. Very great. So, we're going to move on to Ben. Ben going to look to clean up with the CTP here. So, really going to try to dial in and start this round off great. Right. Last thing you want to do is be CTP and, <laughs> and lose a stroke on the field. So, Especially on lead guard. Absolutely. Great putt. Dead center. Looks like a star birdie for these guys. Uh, great opening hole. Yeah, and that's what you want there. Especially on your featured card. Uh, when the first player outside the circle nails his putt. You got to get yours. That's it. So, great job of the rest of those guys. Going to move us along to hole two. Going to be a par three, 269 feet. Uh, also going to be a turnover shot for a lot of these guys. You want to follow this fairway that the camera angle is going. Uh, there's a tree in the middle of the fairway at the very end that you re- would really love to miss. Um, and again, being going to throw this turnover putter, going to really look to get over on it. May have been a mid-range. Uh, yeah. Really turned over on that. Didn't come back quite as much as he wanted to, but... Uh, maybe going to give himself a kind of a big outside the circle look. So, mm-hmm. ooh, Aaron, Aaron going, getting squeaky, going skinny there. Uh, that's going to finish way right over here. Going to leave him some work left to do. Yeah, uh, try to scramble for a par there. So, definitely going to step up. And again, as I said, very quick player. Not going to take a lot of time. And that's going to come out a little early. Looks like he's going to get real fortunate though. Going to get mm-hmm. away with one. Uh, going to leave him not nearly as tough of a shot as it could have been. Jared looking with that same turnover. Hangs it out a little wide left. Gets a good kick. But should have a decent little floater up shot here. Yeah, and a very fortunate kick to leave him out in the fairway there. Uh, give him a little putter shot. Nothing new to Jared. Fluff it up there. Yeah, well done. Just inside 10 feet. Well done. Takes us over to Devin. Little hairy spot over there in the woods. Uh, should leave him with a testy putt. Yeah, try to, throw a, try to throw a little forehand, uh, kind of glide shot in there and got a little low, caught a cut roller, turned back towards the woods, so definitely going to leave him some work left to try to clean this par up. And uh, Nothing new for Aaron here, being a crafty player, kind of throwing a little tight wood shot, going to leave him just left of the basket, short and left as you see there. So, Yep. And here's Ben, uh, best drive of the group, still from the knee outside the circle maybe. Mm. Gives it a decent little run. That's a tough little spot to be. Yeah, a little short there. And, again, all you can kind of ask this whole, uh, you know, if you're, you're closest guy to the pin there is 35 feet and on a knee. Mm-hmm. Just kind of a testament to the hole. So, let's see what Devin can do here, see if he can't clean this up. Wow, yeah, that's, a does. Great, that's a great putt. Great par for Devin. Uh, really trying to get things going early. So, stay, stay with this group of players. Uh, Aaron going to also look to follow up and put it in his par putt here. So, well done. Yep. And there you can see Aaron's – Got a nice little floaty putt, uh, which is going to be 
probably a really nice thing to have with these with these baskets. They're not bad baskets, but they they're known to spit a few out if you're a harder putter. Yeah, I think as the round goes on, we might see a few. Um, if we're lucky slash unlucky, uh, we might see through four through the chain. So great job, all these guys. Again, uh, parts very common score on this hole. I don't want to take a lot worse. I'm really fortunate to get anything better. Yeah. Uh, so great job, these guys taking a solid three. All right, so we got hole three, par three, 205 feet. This is a pretty quick left to right. Uh, goes a little uphill, a lot of trees near the basket. Maybe you can squeak through. Uh, tell us a little about this fairway here. Yeah, uh, you kind of got three options. You got <clears throat> long right, middle right, and short right. Yeah. Uh, not, not a lot of options, but right. Uh, so you're going to see Ben kind of elect to go the middle right line and just absolutely mm. cures it. Beautiful shot. Uh, can't ask for a lot more than that. I think you're going to see Aaron here. Going to probably look to go turnover um, with the backhand. Aaron's not really have not a big forehand player, so going to turn that over to the short gap. Maybe got a little too a little short. Caught up, a little caught up. So going to leave himself a little work left there. Devin going to pull out, go back to the forehand, which is the typical route here. Looks like he tried to go up the middle of the two, and Should really going to push. Close. Yeah, really going to push. Uh, didn't catch anything. A little long. Jared going to try to go middle as well. And going to fall down just beside that skinny tree. Um, a little long past the basket. Going to leave him a good 15-foot or so. Here you can see Aaron 50, 60 feet away. Well, he's got a chance. <sighs> and Great uh, putt. That's solid some, putt. And a nice little fist pump out of Aaron there. That's big, Andy. You get going in these trees and you get hit stuff like that because uh, you're not always going to get the best kick out here. So you start pulling off 15, 60-footers. Um, bodes very well. For oh, that's big time. It's great. And here you got Jared. Uh, pretty good look at it too here. Yeah, really great picture of all the leaves falling too. I hear this time of year. Mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. nice. Very nice putt. Dead center. Great job of Jared to get rolling early. And, and you can see Devin there, close to the basket. Ben under the basket. <laughs> under the basket. And that's a that's a great star bird to get. Really so good job of these guys starting off like that. So moving on to hole four. It's par three, 277 feet, another dog leg right, but now this one you don't want to turn quite so hard to the right. You want to leave a little glide on the end, let it really push up this fairway to try to get a birdie here. So Ben going to start us off. Okay. Goes with that high turnover. Yep, going to throw that turnover shot with a lot of glide, and that is beautiful. That is yes. an absolutely pure shot. Great very, shot. Ben. Very good shot. Looks Aaron. like Aaron's going to do the same thing. Yep. After watching that, really going to try to follow suit here, see what he can do. Looking it's good. A little out wide. Ooh, and just caught the tip of that tree. Slowed it down. Uh, slowed it down a little bit. Not going to quite push up to that basket like he liked, but again, stayed in the fairway, I believe. Uh, going to leave himself a good look at the basket. Devin with that forehand. Just Ooh. a little early, maybe didn't commit. Yeah, uh, came out of that one a little bit. I think kind of came up on that hill. Um, didn't really stay down and drive it. And Jared, going to go real tight. Oh, man, just a little too tight there. It did kick out in the fairway, so shouldn't leave too hard of an upshot, but not quite ideal. So There you see Devin trying to find a, find a gap. Doesn't quite get it, but not fortunate good. enough to kick there to, towards the fairway. Maybe he can get him a nice little upshot near the basket. Go with the forehand again. Pretty easy to see Devin's pants in his hat but really tough to see the rest yeah, of them i mean so. i keep losing him yeah but, but he's there i promise guys he's there maybe so. a little bit of orange could have helped yep Who knows? uh jared gonna look to throw this new first run deputy uh something he just kind of put in the bag getting used to he really likes gonna be real nice to throw this turnover here gonna leave it a little short uh, cut roll short of this basket uh, but shouldn't be a problem for jared tapping out and again here's the, like we talked about any with yeah. Aaron. Uh, you know Fine shot, just a little short because of the clip of that tree. So, going to give it a run. Yeah. Mm. Just hanging it out right. Rare miss so far. Rare. Yeah, I know. That's jump putt range, man. That's Aaron range. And Ben going to look to try to take the first early lead of this round. A little that high on that one, but. And that's a fairly uphill putt. I mean, you can kind of tell, but this basket really starts to climb once you get towards the second half of the hole. And this putt right here is probably really crucial in Devin's round. Um, looking to kind of take a bogey. You just watched Ben take a two, so you know mm -hmm. you're already losing two. Uh, really want to capitalize on this putt here. 
Make sure you get going. Looks good. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Uh, and just like we mentioned earlier. That not-so-blue replay. <sighs> wow. Just, they almost sit on the back rim. I mean, it's too, a Andy. beautiful putt. That's unbelievable. These monkey catchers, uh, not real great at catching a disc there, so it looked like they're better at catching monkeys than catching yeah. discs, maybe. And that so. s- simple little putt that Jared just took, I mean, had to be in the back of his head. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So... Great job I've been taking the birdie in this hole. Unfortunate for Devin with the spit out. Going to take the five. Going to lose a few strokes. See if he can't get some back. Yeah. All right. That takes us to hole five. Par three, 248 feet. You can see here it's a pretty simple little right-handed backhand. Got a pretty open fairway to get to that tree by the basket. And it's in a great spot just to deflect some discs. Yeah, and that tree's really on the ace line. Um, you're going to see some guys go at it. A lot of these guys might play short, which is kind of the line. Like Ben's going to go a little yep. short of that tree there. Going to leave himself about 10 left. A uh, really ideal location for this hole. So, Aaron going to try to repeat that. And Aaron's running a really great line. Going at it. Oh. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> And look, you see Aaron. Prime example. Yeah, I know. Always animated Aaron. So, uh, knew he had a chance there on that one, but that yep. tree is in a great spot. So, Another good shot. I mean, let's we'll see if Jared can kind of learn from where Aaron was at, see if he really wants to go at this or maybe play more of the bend line. Yep. Looks like he chose to go with that kind of shorter line, known mm-hmm. as terrain. Play the skip. Smart shot. Very smart. Definitely going to round it out with a backhand as well. Mm. Well, that one may have come out a little early, gotten away from him, uh, which is real typical to do on this hole or easy to do going uphill. Let yeah. that disc go just a little early. Uh, putting it on a hyzer but not really needing to because of the heel and then coming out early left. So, Look at a long two here. Ooh, and just going to miss short and right. Not quite sure the look he had there. Uh, may have gave it his best effort, but nonetheless going to come up a little short. So, uh, Aaron going to look try to keep pace with Ben here. Really going to need this one. Great putt. Yeah, he knew it the whole way. That kind of lofty, uh, soft putt in there after watching Devin spit through. I think really going to bode well for Aaron yeah for sure and then here you can see Devin cleaning up his par got to be in his head at this point possibly with that putt but a great job solid putt going right back to his bread and butter putting it in there so good job of cleaning up the three not making anything worse out of it and another spit out there I mean that could have done some real damage oh for sure Ben going to look to tap in for that two there Yep. Keep his one stroke lead. So we got three birdies on the card. Unfortunately, Devin will take the only par of the hole. Uh, Going to lose another stroke on the field. But again, confident putt. It was nice to see him go back to that. And For sure. Move on. Uh, we got hole six here. Got a par three, 290 feet. You're going to see two different lines here, Andy. Maybe some guys take a flex line on the forehand out to the left. Most guys are going to take it up the gut, backhand route, uh, kind of a poke and pray, miss the three guardian trees, and see if they can't get something around the basket. Ben going with that straight shot. Mm. Uh, just catches the left side of the tree. And that was looking really good, actually. That looked really good. That was a great line. Again, that's the, what you're looking at. Uh, just you know, he, He's six inches to the left and misses that tree. He's probably parked. So. Aaron taking the same way. <clears throat> Aaron going to try to get a little skinny here. And that fights did, through. It did fight through. <laughs> and again, the animation. Boy, Aaron was <laughs> hopping all around the place. So. Great guy to have on the card here. Absolutely. Jared going putter up the gut. Oh, man, that's a laser beam. Great tee shot. Laser and blazer and all kinds of lasers there. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Devin's going to kind of get three different shots so far, so Devin's going to just look to throw one up the middle with these guys. Ooh. It came out clean. I think he just pulled it a little bit. Yeah, it may be something in his head from the two early releases before, so I'll see if he can't recover here. Going to throw that thumber uh, that he seems to be comfortable with so far. That's a great shot. Yeah, Put that right there sure. by the basket. That'll, That's no easy upshot there. Not at all. So very crafty. Great job being able to put himself in position for a par. So Ben going to try to give this a run, but I think Ben realized he didn't quite have a lane yeah. in there. Just playing the smart shot. Going to try to take the par and move on, especially knowing that a lot of the field's not going to really get a birdie here. Right. Aaron looking maybe circle's edge, a little outside. Ooh. Just a little too much juice. Yeah. And maybe really the first putt from that range we've seen Aaron not give his best effort at. So that one got a little away from him, a little high. Uh, be looked to kind of come back with a 12 footer, see if he can't save the par. So, and here's Jared through the laser beam all the way past the hole. Gonna try to give it a run. It just nicked the top of that tree up there, I believe. Kind of kicked it down, but a great run nonetheless. 
Yeah, it's unfortunate to be back that deep on this hole. You don't you don't really see that, so yeah, don't you don't expect see, it to happen. Don't see many guys back there. Aaron with another barely over the basket. <laughs> barely over the basket, but again, that soft touch for these baskets is yeah. really great for him. Held everything so far, so Devin gonna clean up and the rest of the guys. Star par. Again, not gonna see a lot different from that on this hole. Played a little over par on the day, so great job by these guys taking par and move on. For sure. There you can see Ben with the one stroke lead. Takes us to hole seven, par three, 257 feet. You got a really tight gap off the tee box. Turns into a pretty simple hyzer for right-handed backhand. Uh, the main objective here is to just stay clean of this first couple trees, uh, squeeze through the gap. Yep, and you're gonna see a lot of these guys hug the right side of this tee pad. Uh, it's just a small, small window. And a great job by Ben throwing that hyzer flip. Get through the gap, gonna Beautifully finish a little done. short and left, and that's about as well as you can play on this hole. Um, again, this this entryway off this tee pad is so tight for these guys. So Aaron doing the same exact thing. Really great shot by Aaron. Really committing, getting down through the disc and pushing it out they straight. They may so. be making minis. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Time will tell. Jared looking for the same Ooh. little high hits the tree. A little high. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. His plant foot came out in the middle of that tee pad. I'm not sure if that's quite where he wanted. It also caused him to kind of pull out to the right. So, And Devin going to come off that same tree, and that's a, a great tree in this fairway. Uh, luckily, Devin's got a kick straight down. So yeah. got a little better angle to go back and attack this basket. Looking for that little flex turnover. Forehand. Maybe a little short. Should be okay. Have a look at it. Jerry going to try to do the same thing. Yeah, and both these guys are going to come up a little short and a little left. Uh, not quite ideal. We would both love to have pushed a little farther to the basket. Yeah. Uh, let's see what Jared can do with this. And it's definitely Jared range. Uh, maybe a little awkward footing. <clears throat> yeah, a little fancy footwork going on right here. So, see if he can make the best out of a bad situation. Mm. And just, you know, a little bit more push with the upper body than I think Jared would have wanted, but couldn't quite get the foot footing yeah. right. So. Again, kind of goes back to that upshot, not quite pushing it up the fairway like they would have liked. Right. Same thing with Devin here. Going to be forced to go with a straddle because of this vine on the left. Mm. And not, you know, hadn't had to make a straddle so far yet this round, so not a comfortable putt for him, left it a little right. And you can see here Aaron and Ben's drive, just about near as perfect as you yeah, can get. Almost making minis, like you said. <laughs> exactly. Mm. Same color disc and all. Could have been the same disc. You can't make those. these things up, Taylor. I know, yeah. Stuff just comes naturally. Ben going to take a little extra time, make sure he doesn't make any just dumb mistakes here on this putt. Oof, almost left out a little high and <laughs> left. Uh, got, got a little Good lucky Good two, there. nonetheless. Absolutely. So, Devin going to come back. Really trying to make this bogey and not let this round get away from him. Very nice. Great putt. Really trying to stay in this thing. And Jared as well. Not going to want to let this lead get away from him here, so really going to want to dial this putt in best he can. Ooh, wow. And just left that a little short off that front edge. Uh, unfortunately, Jerry with the five, Devin with the four, uh, with Ben and Aaron uh, moving things along. Yeah, and you, you can see them just start to extend a lead here, which is uh, pretty important here at this point. Absolutely. So it brings us to hole eight. Par three, 290 feet. Uh, to me, the prettiest hole on the course. Got a huge ravine. Uh, that is just not exactly into play if you pure this line here 290 feet straight at the basket, but can definitely come into play um, if you catch any early trees. So. Yeah. Looks like Ben taking the backhand. Ooh, and this is going to hold a really tight line. Going to really be hoping for this to push through. And he does get there. And, and he got somehow. Yeah, got away with a lot of it there. So very fortunate by Ben. Not what? quite catching up to that ridge, but at least getting the majority of the way down the hole. How did you fare here on this hole? Did you take a backhand? I it. did. Uh, threw a backhand truth and threw it about 15 feet from the basket, Andy, and then made the worst putt of my day. So, <laughs> uh, Aaron, uh, unfortunate tree there. Yeah, Aaron not going to be real happy with that, but fortunately uh, landed back in the fairway. So going to give himself at least uh, a view at the basket to make a clean up shot. So Devin going to elect to go with the rare forehand line here. You don't see many guys take that. Maybe and, looking to get a flex. Ooh. If he could have got around that tree, I believe that disc was going to fight for him. Uh, unfortunately, caught the right edge of that tree and going to kick all the way down to the bottom of the hill. So, And Jared going to look, go up the gut. Throwing that Marshall that we see. We yeah. saw it in the Monster Mash. And that is saucy. That's just a great shot. Saucy. 
Very nice. And again, Aaron got the lucky kick, landed in the fairway, so going to give himself a nice view of the basket here. Not going to quite get around on the disc like they like. Ooh, got a nice kick off the tree and at least going to land back out in the middle. So maybe he can hit one of those Bernard range mm -hmm. jump putts for a three there. So and Devin going to go with this forehand again. Uh, maybe oh, maybe thumber, thumber. thumber. Sorry, yeah. And that's a which I mean, is a form of a forehand right. in a way. A decent but. little shot, but that's a huge hill to throw up. That's, and, yeah, tough on that. Especially that disc looked very stable. Turned over really fast. Here's Aaron. Ooh, wow. He has just been oh, – I can't say about how he's been around the basket from that range. So, I'm sure he would have loved to put that one in there. But. Mm -hmm. And you can see Ben there getting through most of the fairway, giving himself a look. Oof. And almost gets it with that Nova. And he would have loved to have gotten away with that one. Oh, yeah. Picked up another birdie and another stroke. That would have been huge. On, some, on Aaron. So, Devin going to try to clean this three up here. <clears> hmm. <throat> And just not quite dialing it in yet. Um, again, ever since that spit out has been a little shaky. So you can imagine probably what that's doing to him mentally. So Jerry going to lay down the, the mini mini. Oh, yeah. And going to tap out using one disc for yeah, the whole disc. That's a great hole when you can only have to use one disc. So. And there you can see it. Jerry with the lone deuce. One disc deuce. Devin and Aaron with the fours. Then with the par. Still hold on to that lead. It'll take us to hole nine. Par 3, 279 feet. You can see on the map there, it's just a small little left to right hyzer or anhyzer for the turnover shot. Uh, and you got the little downhill bit down at the end. Looks like Jared may be lining up a forehand. Uh, yeah, kind of a rare boom. Whew. Yeah. I think he about took the tree down. Taking maybe. an axe to it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> a little laugh there uh, from him, yeah, maybe. Yeah, great. Uh, very rare forehand from Jared, so thought he would have elected to go back in here. Looks like. And that's a beautiful looking shot. Ben elected to go to the backhand, holding the pose out. Really likes it there. Had to stare and look at it for a minute. So a great shot by Ben, uh, admiring the artwork. Mm -hmm. uh, and here's Aaron, also going to elect to go with that backhand turnover line. That's going to get a little lower than Aaron would have liked. I think going to come a little short. Um, got the hop, skip, and a jump there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> a little clack of the heels. Uh, Devin going to throw this thumber again, and that's kind of the thumber we've been yep. looking for out of Devin all around. So That might have given it a run. I may have given it an ish run. So going to see Jared behind this log here, see if he can't put an up shot near this basket and clean up. Solid shot. Very nice. And here's Bernard Range again. Yep. Put the Bernard Range alert on. The Bernard Bandit. Looking for the jumper. It's up. Got a decent line. Uh, and it's almost mm, good. Gonna be a little great short. run, wow, though. That was a great run again. So He's been dialing it in, man. You just never know when he's going to strike. Mm -hmm. See if Devin can't capitalize on this great tee shot. Ty, he's, just, he's been left. He's been right. Yep. He's been high. He's been he's through. Been, just been, <laughs> he has been through. Uh, through and through again. So Just trying to, trying to dial it in there. And Ben with another great shot. Great birdie putt, and again, really going nice. to extend that lead. So, got a little mini fist yeah. bump there. I think he knows kind of what how big that was moving into the back nine of and this first round. And he's putting together a really solid round. Easy, Jared. <laughs> Jared about took a trip Squatch and that would down. Been, somebody would have yelled timber if Jared would have <laughs> fell. That's a big man to be falling. Uh, Bernard going to try to clean up here after a great run, taking his time. That same lofty putt yep. that's bowed him well with his change. So, really good job. And Devin as well. Going to clean up with that three. So you got Ben with the long two. The rest of the guys taking par. Moving on to the back nine. Ben carrying that three-stroke lead. Great front nine by him. For sure. There you have it. That's our front nine for you today. Uh, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, be on the lookout for back nine, round one. Go with a shootout. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Glad to be in again. See you guys.